All right, the next lesson we're going to talk about real quick is polygons and some of the things that we need to know about polygons, some of those definitions. First definition that we're going to talk about is what it means to be convex. Now a convex polygon looks something like that. It's a convex pentagon to be more precise. Convex means that there are no line segments, none of those segments if extended, cut through the shape. Now, sometimes that's a little difficult to understand, so we'll look at what it means to be not convex or concave. And when you look at concave, what you can notice here, hopefully, is that if I were to draw this line, if I extended this line, it would cut through the shape. Since one of the segments cut would cut through the shape, it is not convex, it is what we call concave. Many of you remember concave and convex from the story of Smokey Bear and his cousin Fire Bear. Next thing that we need to know about polygons is what it means to be equilateral. Equilateral. Well, the first part of that word should remind you of the word equal and lateral should remind you of sides. So that's all sides are congruent. After equilateral, we have what's called equiangular, where all the angles are equal or congruent. And if a shape is both equilateral and equiangular, we call that a regular polygon. It is a regular polygon if it is both equilateral and equiangular. Next, we've got two theorems. The first one is the interior angle sum theorem. And a lot of times people forget about this theorem when it comes time to the, take the final, but what you need to remember, n minus 2 times 180. n, n is the number of sides. n is the number of sides. And we're going to take that, we're going to subtract 2, we're going to multiply that by 180, and that tells us how many degrees there are on the inside of our shape. The exterior angle sum theorem, well, this is a nice one, it's an easy one to remember, because it's always 360. It's always 360. Now, let's take a look at an example. If I've got this shape, it's a hexagon, it's got six sides, got six angles and we want to know what X is. We want to know what this is right here. But in order to do that we need to know how many degrees there are in the entire thing. Well in the entire thing we're going to use the interior angle sum theorem which is n minus 2 times 180. The number of sides in this case is 6. So we're going to plug this in and we're going to say 6 minus 2 times 180. Well that will be 4 times 180 and 180 times 4 is 720. So there's 720 degrees in this shape. Now total of 720 but we've already got five angles that we know. So if I were to write out my equation here it would look something like this. X plus 110 plus 120 plus 100, 100, plus 130, plus 140, has to add up to equal 720. Now, I can combine like terms. 110 plus 120 plus 100 plus 130 plus 140. Okay, if I'm doing that right, that I believe is 600. So x plus 600 equals 720. If I keep working on this, subtract 600 from both sides, and I end up with x equaling 120 degrees. Okay. The next type of problem that we could have, again we're going to use those same formulas. In this regular pentagon, find each interior angle and exterior angle. Well, Number of sides. There are five of them. 
So if we plug that into the formula, n minus 2 times 180 would be 5 minus 2 times 180, 3 times 180, or the number that we're looking for is 540. So each angle has to be the same. So it's 540, and how many angles do I have? 5, so 5x's. Five if I divide both sides by 5 here, I find out that each interior angle is going to be 108. Each exterior angle, well, exterior angles look like this here, and they're all the same. And if they all add up to equal 360, and there's five of them, if I divide by five, you get 360 divided by five, ends up being 72 degrees. Now one thing that you should notice here is 72 and 108 are supplementary, and that will be the case in all of these problems. Okay, 108 and 72, whenever we talk about regular shapes, the interior angles and the exterior angles will be supplementary. Next, area formulas. Okay, we're talking about area formulas of all these different shapes that we're going to talk about. Triangles, rectangles, squares, parallelograms. Um, I'm not going to tell you what those are. One, you should know them, and two, you're getting a cheat sheet. So we're not going to go over that right now. We'll just move on to our next lesson.